think this this kind of this business model of um, design studios working for several companies and therefore kind of overlapping um, and companies working with many different designers. Um, I think yes, it's quite unique. I think it has its advantages. I think it um, creates a kind of a, a form of dynamics. Something is kind of moving, changing, which I think is positive. I've seen the the kind of negative side of it as well, is that this structure can become quite unpredictable. And uh, um, even though we always wish to establish long-term relationships with companies. Um, because of the dynamics, things are changing and suddenly a company that was great to work with uh, for five years suddenly you know, uh, becomes less interesting and, and then the, the kind of carousel starts to, to turn and you, you go from one company to another. To be honest, I, I'd prefer working for only very few companies and having a very steady long-term relationship. I think there's real kind of value in this. You need to know each other really well in order to understand the complexity of the project. I think that's how it was in the old days. If you look at the kind of post-war history of, uh, especially in Italy, it is um, the, the kind of the great masters and each one had their few companies that they worked for almost a lifetime. And that's what produced the really good work. I think nowadays there's a shorter life cycle to everything. And there's something good and something bad to it. I think some companies for sure, they, they hire designers for marketing reasons, for having their names um, in the catalog. But I think uh, there are other companies and those are the interesting companies that are looking for designers as um, partners uh, for realizing certain projects. And it's interesting that a company like Magis, for example, they somehow succeed in you know, bringing together very different designers working on very different projects. And I think it can work. And if it works, it's actually quite fascinating. It creates a, an interesting tension and energy. It can go all wrong as well. Um, there's companies that actually work with only very few designers and and practice that for a long time. And it can can also show that that's the, the kind of that that continuity creates the the kind of more solid, better work. But it could also show that that kind of ends in. A repetition and a, a kind of dead end um, a street. It's. Uh, I think it. It really. It always depends.